Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 12.1, Problem 24. This is Section 12.1, Problem Number 24. It says find the derivative of the function f of x equals 4x to the fifth power plus 5x minus 7 all over x to the third. Now, when we take a derivative, we can't have a variable in the denominator. And here we have a variable in the denominator. And up until this point, we've been able to just move it up into the numerator by making the exponent negative. So I can't just bring this up because it's over three different pieces. So I call this the common denominator trick. What I'm going to do is rewrite the function. So it's still f of x. It's not f prime yet. Equals 4x to the fifth over x to the third plus 5x over x to the third minus 7 over x to the third. So instead of one big fraction, I've split it into three little fractions all with the same denominator. And they are equal. I, since it has a common denominator, I could put it back this way. But this is better for me having the three separate fractions because now I can reduce and simplify each one in such a way that it'll have no more variable in the denominator. Once I've split it up like this, again, it's still just f of x at this point. It's not f prime yet. Ultimately, we'll get to that. But now 4x to the fifth over x to the third. The x to the fifth and the x to the third can reduce. I'm going to subtract these exponents, and I will have 4x to the second power. Again, fifth power minus third power, the second power. So the first chunk, 4x to the fifth over x to the third, reduces nicely to just 4x to the second. Plus 5x over x to the third is going to be 5 over x squared. Because the x in the numerator can reduce the x to the third down to an x squared. And I'll bring that up in just a second. And the 7 over x to the third, I'll write 7x to the minus 3. Again, the negative exponent means that the variable was really coming from the denominator. And I'll, I'll just write one extra line and do that for my 5 over x squared. So again, it's still f of x is not f prime yet. 4x to the second will stay the way it is, is 4x to the second. 5 over x to the second will become 5x to the negative 2. And the minus 7x to the negative 3 on the end, I'll just leave that. Now, no more variable in the denominator. Each piece is written with a number in front, a variable, and an exponent. So for each piece, I'm going to bring the exponent down times the number in front and reduce the exponent by 1. <coughs> so now I have f prime of x. f prime of x equals the first piece of my function, 4x squared. The exponent of 2 comes down times the 4, the number in front, and gives me 8x to 1 less power, so first power, 8x to the first. So just plain old 8x. You don't have to write the first power. The middle piece, 5x to the negative 2. The negative 2 comes down times the number in front. The exponent of negative 2 comes down times the 5. You have negative 10, right? Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. x to 1 less power. Again, pay attention, it's negative 3. Minus 2. Subtract 1 goes to minus 3. And now the piece on the end, negative 7x to the minus 3. The exponent of minus 3 comes down times the negative 7 in front, making a plus 21. Right? Negative times a negative becomes positive. You have to remember that. x to the 1 less power is negative 4. And now that's the answer. If you like, the variables that have a negative exponent, if you want, you can put them back in the denominator and make them positive. Or if you want, you could just as well leave it like this. And, and this will be fine. f prime of x equals 8x minus 10x to the negative 3 plus 21x to the negative 4.